Welcome back to Crux Stationalis. Today we head to the Roman Station Church for Friday in the third week of Lent. San Lorenzo in Lucina. St. Lawrence in Lucina. The Basilica of San Lorenzo in Lucina, which is found in the piazza with the same name in Rome, is of ancient origins. In variety from our usual tours, today I take you to this basilica and allow you to walk through it with me in an immersive manner. And I will explain a few details as to what we are looking at. If you have questions as to what we are seeing, just leave a comment below with the timestamp and a question about what we are looking at. Let's go inside. Upon entering the basilica and even looking from the piazza, we look in and we see this high altar piece painted by Guido Reni, the crucifixion, and we are immediately met with the brilliance of the corpus of Christ, recalling the sacred host elevated by the priest after the consecration. Here is the baptistry of the church. However, for the Linton Roman Station Church liturgy, we begin in the ancient baptistry from the end of the third century, before the legalization of Christianity. As is customary for the Roman Station Church liturgy, we begin with the opening collect and process to the litany of the saints. The celebrant then incenses the altar and the relics upon the high altar. Here is the scene of the crucifixion painted by Guido Reni from the year 1637 to 1638. This is the Chapel of the Annunciation, designed by Gian Lorenzo Bernini. We find an image of Elisha pouring salt into the bitter fountain at Jericho, an image of the Annunciation, and that of Salus Populi Romani. Here is the chapel of St. Francis Caracciolo, the founder of the Minorites. The altarpiece shows him adoring the Blessed Sacrament. This chapel, formerly dedicated to St. Anthony of Padua, is now dedicated to the Sacred Heart. The first chapel on the right-hand side, the epistle side of the church, is dedicated to St. Lawrence. Below the altar is a bronze grill through which you can see a reliquary. In this is preserved part of the gridiron that was used in the martyrdom of St. Lawrence.
In this chapel, we find three images of St. Lawrence. Here on the altar, we find him in glory with the signs of his martyrdom, the chain of his martyrdom, which tied him to the gridiron. And we also find the images of when he offered the poor to the emperor, the poor of the church, who are the church's treasures. and the beginning of his martyrdom. The message from the sermon of the station mass is as follows. All that we do has no sense unless we have a contrite and humble heart, a heart desirous of knowing the Lord. We looked at the verb to love, an imperative. How can it be that Jesus commands us to love? Love is the fruit of liberty. A person who is not free is incapable of love. Because love involves an element of unfettered consideration of oneself. To love. The remote root of the word to love indicates the natural and irrepressible desire of a person towards something that is in first place desirable. The example was given of a child's desire for the breast of his mother, a desire which draws him that which, if not satisfied, he would be unable to live. The exhortation for us then was towards our relationship with the Lord, to love, to desire profoundly with our entire self, with our entire mind, with our entire heart, with every fiber of our being, to desire God, to desire to encounter Him, to desire to know Him, desire to deepen our gaze in His gaze, a desire that which without we would be unable to live. This chapel is in honor of Our Lady of Graces and St. Francis. This chapel is dedicated to St. John Nepomucene, a martyr who died in Bohemia, part of what is now the Czech Republic, in 1393. He was killed on the order of King Wenceslas IV after refusing to reveal what was said to him in confession by the Queen. He was thrown into the river at Prague. This chapel is in honor of St. Charles Borromeo. It has an altarpiece by Carlo Saraceni, depicting St. Charles in procession with the nail of the cross. Various martyrs and saints are depicted between the windows of the clerestory of the nave. The painting in the ceiling of the nave is of the glory of St. Lawrence. The other saints in the depiction are Pope Damasus, St. Lucina, and St. Francis Caracciolo. And we see Christ in the glory of his resurrection. At the end of the Holy Mass, the celebrant goes to each altar and incenses the relics of the saints and martyrs. And then the faithful are blessed with a relic of the true cross. Behold the wood of the cross, on which hung the salvation of the world. Come, let us adore.